Hello friends. In last video, we have seen how to fetch data from a database by using a ID. So in this video, we have to learn how to insert the record into database. So let's first check the last program out, last program output. Just relaunch this application. Open Chrome browser, type localhost, and here is the give ID, and here is the output of this third record, which is Santosh, which is available in our database. So, in this video, we have to insert the data into database. This all this code available on my GitHub link. You can check in description box where is a github link and you can access this code from this my github link so for inserting data we have to create one method public string add users we are performing here post mapping so give annotations post map give string which is add users and here we have to write model attribute annotations and in that we have to create the object of a user model class here here we have to write only the repository reference repo reference dot save method here we have to pass the u as a user object and return the result page here we are we are fetching the data so check the output of this program relaunch the applications open chrome browser refresh the page and we are inserting data so now in this time we are going to insert the four and name is a robot so we have displayed also this records but you have to check the on database that is a robot fourth number so refresh this database So here is a not. Ah, so you can check this record of a fourth number is a robot. So let's recap our program. First, we have created the one methods that is add users, and where in that we are we write the model attribute annotation, and in that we have created the user model objects and we are taking the reference of a repo, user repo which is created in a DAO, DAO package that is it and in that we have write the repo.save method in that we have to pass only you that is a user object and we return the result page in which we are showing the data that's all about the inserting data into database by using a spring boot and thank you for watching this video